want to talk to you for a second about lifting lugs. Here we have this bridge, this rail car getting ready to ship out. Right, I'm sitting on um, I'm sitting on the trailer right now. This car's ready to head on out. But um, why don't you talk about these lifting lugs? You can see these lifting lugs on the deck. Right, there's one there, one right over here, one back over there. So there's a total of four lifting lugs on this thing. Uh, this is a 90 foot long rail car here. All right, so this um, whenever we um, whenever we install these things ourselves. We'll typically basket the first rail car, meaning we'll, we'll run straps, you know, up and around the entire rail car or around. There's, there's some different pockets up underneath there we can grab. Um, so we'll do that with the first rail car. But once we get the second rail car, you can see that um, that side till right here. When we set that, so the first car will basket, right? But the second car, uh, whenever we butt them up together, uh, these two side sills will, will will touch each other, and that. Um, you know, uh, you can't remove the straps on a uh, on a crane when you have these two cars sitting close to each other. So what we do on the second rail car is, is we'll uh, we'll apply this these lifting lugs. So the first rail car will, will get no lifting lugs, but the second one will get lifting lugs. Okay. The um, the other rail car for this project is sitting right back over there. So that rail car doesn't have any lifting lugs. Um, but this one will have lifting lugs. Okay, but if you want both of your uh, decks to have lifting lugs, we can apply it to both. Um, we can apply it to one, or we can you can just basket. You can cut holes in the uh, deck. You, I think we have another video about cutting holes in the deck. Uh, either way is fine. All right, that's all.